Oh man, it's unfortunate, but because with the illegals, you ain't gotta do, you ain't gotta write up their taxes for them. It's just paying up under the table. Insurance, you don't need none of that. They get hurt, just get rid of them. Get the hell out of here. You're illegal. You can't go to the hospital anyway. So Okay, Anna Maria Perez got to Florida 20 years ago, but things have changed. As a Latina and a business owner, she says it makes no sense to stay. It's real, she says. Farms don't have workforce they used to. So now the cost of fruit rose on us. Perez stated, I mean, she started as a fruit picker when she came from Mexico. She says it was physically exhausting, so she stopped after she became a legal resident. The fruit stand was supposed to be a, set, a step up, but once the law went into effect, you should have seen it. The mangoes and mammies fall into the ground. No one to pick them. Perez says next year when her kid graduates college, she's planning to leave Florida. She's done. She shakes her head and gets back to packing some lines. We all lost out here. She says we all lost. Now we're going to head up to New York. So Florida's getting hit with $12 billion in shortages each year. Oh, yeah. Listen, let me tell you something. It's not just niggas. White folk ain't about to go pick no damn fruit. Black people ain't about to go pick no fruit. For the first time in history, there's more Indian immigrants in America than there are Chinese. The Chinese aren't about to pick no fruit. The Indians aren't about to pick no fruit. The Ukrainians coming over here ain't about to pick no fruit. The Europeans ain't about to pick no fruit. The Africans ain't about to pick no fruit. So who going to pick all the goddamn fruit? Because I'm not getting out there. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not doing it. Y'all not doing it, so who gonna do it? Who gonna do it? Now, here goes a rough estimate of what's going on in New York. Now, of course, this is New York, so it's gonna be a little bit higher, but we'll just take it as an estimate. Uh, Randall's Island migrant shelter to cost New York taxpayers $20 million a month or 10 k for every migrant. New York taxpayers will dole over $20 million a month to house migrants on Randall's Island, according to a state source, or $10,000 per asylum seeker in the, if the site fills all 10,000, I mean, 2,000 seats, which would give us the $20 million a month. Now, if we're just going to take this, New York's Mayor Adams announced last week that the migrant crunch in the Big Apple is expected to cost over a whopping $12 billion for the next three years, so $4 billion just for the migrant crisis in New York. Now, remember, the numbers that we got right now with inflation for 1 million people is $61 billion per year. It was $18 billion in 2013 for roughly 400000 And this is just enforcement. So with inflation in times 2.5 from 400000 to a million a year, we're looking at $61 billion. Now, in New York, they're saying it's going to cost them $4 billion per year to handle their migrant situation. Now, that's just New York. Let's just say they do this in every single state, and they end up going down to Florida. That's where they're coming up with the $88 billion. That's just to get the migrants together. That's not paying to actually send them out. That's not paying to pay the military their extra money. That's not paying to train these new federal agents. That's not paying to hire new federal agents. Listen, this is going to be roughly $100 billion a year just to even 
fathom of, that's just the starting cost. And of course, you know, these contractors, when they put shit together, they're about to be overinflating everything. They're about to be running it up because these are going to be government contracts that are issued out. Now, we're supposed to have Doge, uh, the Department of Government Efficiency, which is a fake ass. Uh, it's not even a department. It's, it takes an act of Congress. That's two thirds of Congress. That means the, the, the Democrats are going to have to vote on that. So it's not even an actual fucking thing. So there's no way that that's ever going to pass. But. They're talking about cutting off spending when we're looking at a hundred, a hundred and twenty billion dollars. Big picture here, people. Per year that they talk about the money we send to Ukraine. Listen, we about to be getting knocked over the head. On top of inflation is about to go up because we already know in Florida they're losing twelve billion and the prices are going up and the supply is going down. It's fucking crazy out here. Now listen to this. We are past our breaking point, Adam said, which is he's a criminal and he cut off all of the all of the migrant shit, which I agree with. But he did that because he's looking for a political favor from Trump, potentially a pardon because his ass is under federal investigation. We'll get back to that case maybe next week. But Adam said during a city hall briefing on Wednesday, with more than 57,000 individuals currently in our care on average night. It amounts to $9.8 million a day, almost $300 million a month, and nearly $3.6 billion a year, which is where we got the $12 billion over three years. Now, if we were to take... That's 17 times, and they said $3.6 billion. Just going off of New York's numbers, that puts us at 62 billion. So let me see. 61 billion just in enforcement. 62 billion a year just to house them. So that puts us at 120 billion just for enforcement and housing, 1 million illegals. Now, of course, it's not going to really be there. So we can just knock it down to 50 billion because they're going to probably be in, in camps. But that's still $110 billion a year just for enforcement and actually housing them. Now, that's not even going into paying. Well, there's no overtime. Remember, they just passed federal employees on salary. Can't what? Oh, they can't get overtime. So now, instead of paying overtime to employees to work these extra shifts, since they just passed that and it's going to affect 4 million people, you're going to have to have double the people on payroll to have them work because there's no overtime. See, when you start hearing different shit and you start putting it together, it's like, wait a minute. We can't get overtime. That means you're going to have to have three shifts because you can't work 12s. You're going to work 40 hours a week. Anything over that is overtime, but they just passed the law in Texas that there ain't no overtime. Now, wait a minute. So now we got to have 24 divided by eight hours is three. So now since there's no overtime, we got to have three people to do one job. Because who's going to maintain the tents? Who's going to who's going to be out there securing the place? Oh, that's right. We got to work in shifts. So now we need three people for one job. We got to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Those people working got to be able to eat. And if it's the military members, that means it's going to be the military cooks who got to work. But guess what? They're serving the ICE agents who can't get overtime. So we got to bring in a third person, which we're already short on Homeland Security agents. So let's go ahead and add in another $5 billion just on training and bringing in new people. Listen, we're looking at almost $150 billion, and that isn't even started with the deportation of going to round them up or sending them off. We're looking at like $200 billion, big picture, just a year, just a year. Just, just, just on the low end, guys, but they told us, guess what? No expense. 
But not once have we heard any policies about bringing the cost of living down. It just sounds like we're just spending and 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 spending. Wait a minute, this ain't making any sense to me. So they say the deportation is going to cost roughly $80 billion. And we didn't came up with 110. So that's $200 billion right there. Maybe I could be wrong. Maybe I'm maybe I'm off. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe I'm off a couple billion, give or take. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. We'll we'll find out though. Cause we just getting started, guys. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. I'm Old IJ, and this is the Mo. You know, right now we're just trying to figure out what the hell is actually going on in the country. You know, we trying to figure this out. We don't really know necessarily what's going on, but we trying to figure what's you know, we trying to figure out what's going on. Now, look at this. This is the migrant shelter. This is what they put together. A new migrant shelter on Randall Island will house 2,000 asylum seekers. Now, this isn't this isn't illegal. This is just the, the asylum seekers. Now, remember, Trump said there will be no asylum seekers. So we got to classify. These 2,000 into the illegals. I'm just going off of what Trump said. Well, that's only for federal employees. I haven't really looked too much into it, but that was for salary because it, it used to be. So up under Trump originally, I know we a little off topic here, but if you go back under Trump originally, the overtime was for salaries 38,000. You couldn't make over 38,000. But then under Trump, uh, not under Trump, but under Biden, he upped it to I think it was like fifty four thousand. Now the judge that just passed it, there, hey, there's no overtime, there's none. But I, it, that, it was for federal, it was for federal overtime on salary. Now Biden did up it. Also, you remember two things, two things. Trump said there will be no overtime tax. Well, we just passed the bill. That there's not going to be any overtime either. If you go back in 2019, I want to say it was in 2019. Remember, remember what they just said. Also, they said that there will be no tax on overtime. They took overtime away. They said there will be no tax on tips. If you go back and look at what Trump actually tried to slide in there, it didn't get passed in 2019. I know you guys are probably thinking, "Damn, Mo, where you be getting this shit from?" But in 20, it's either 2018 or 2019, Trump tried to slide in on a bill that corporations, business owners were legally allowed to take workers tips, but it didn't get passed, but it got overlooked. So when you hear Trump say something, you really have to dig a little bit deeper and go back and find out what he did. Now, like I said earlier, I don't care what your political beliefs are. All I'm doing is presenting you the facts. I'm not making any of this shit up. I'm showing you the numbers. I'm showing you where I get it from. So we'll go back and we'll look at that. We'll also look at what the, the no overtime was also. So we can just get an understanding of what the hell is actually going on. And I'm going to find out it was 35 pounds. I think it's soybeans. It's like $10 for every 35 pounds. I'm, I'm going to find out what it was. Here we go. Economic Policy Institute. Here we go. This is 2017. When did Trump get in office? Oh, yeah. January 20, 2017. Check this out. In 2017, employers would pocket $5.8 billion of workers' tips under Trump administration's proposed tip stealing rule. See, you guys didn't read anything about this. No one was paying attention to any of this. 
But guess what I was doing in 2017? I had just got out the military eight days prior to this. I got out December 6th, 27. Well, I got out December 5th. I joined December 6th. And guess what day this is? December 5th, the day I got out, because I remember reading about this. On December 5th, the Trump administration took its first major step toward allowing employers to legally pocket tips earned by workers. They employed the Department of Labor released a proposed rule that would allow restaurants to take the tips that servers earn and share them with untipped employees such as cooks and dishwashers. But crucially, the rule doesn't actually require the employees to distribute pool tips to workers under the administration proposed rules. As long as tip workers earn minimum wage, employers could pocket all of their tips. So initially what they were saying was, hey, we're going to give the cook some tip money. We're going to give the dishwasher some tip money. But the rule actually turned out. This is how you get behind it. Pay them minimum wage, $6.15 an hour. And then if they get tips, you, the employer, can legally take all of their tips and you don't have to give it to the cooks or the dishwashers. They tried to pass this, but Congress said, nigga, no. No. They make minimum wage just so they can make tips. But see, no one read up on any of this. See, I'm going back in the archives. Yeah, you guys may think I'm just an ignorant Negro that talks about TV shows. No, I pay attention to what the fuck is going on in the world now. <laughs> I pay attention to what's going on in the world now. Did any of y'all know about this? Eric said, I heard about it. They tried to slide this through. <laughs> Congress said, wait a minute. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 It's wild out here, man. It's wild out here. But now, what did he do? He reversed it on you. What did he do this time? There's no tax on tips or overtime. First, before he even get in office, nigga, there's no overtime. Uh, we all knew we weren't going to get taxed on overtime. We knew there wasn't going to be no overtime. Now, there's no tax on tips. No tax on tips. Nigga, you tried to give the tips. You're going to try it again. You know we're going to try it again. Mm-hmm. There's some wild shit here. There's some wild shit. But I forgot where it is. Oh, yeah, we're talking about how much it costs. So just in New York, we find out, like, this is nice here, too. This is nice here, too. They got nice little cops here. Uh, which one is this? Oh, no, you only give a great tax pay 850. We know we pay extra money out of that, but. <laughs> you, you guys remember this? You remember all these, <laughs> all the red states, they were sending the migrants to the Democrat states? Well, that was costing about $148 million. Now, let's see how many people this was. All right. So to bus from, from Texas to D.C., 102,000 migrants. They bust 102,000 migrants, causing $148 million in damage. So that's what, 10% of 1 million? Just to bus a hundred and they want to do a million people, so it's 148 million 
10 times that just so we can have the number on the board, man. Just to bust them from all the cities down to the border, a million people, of course, it's going to it'll be, we'll just say an even billion dollars just for busing. It's going to cost a billion dollars just to put all million of them on the bus and take them down to Florida. We don't even know New Mexico, Arizona. We don't even know what part of the border they're about to cross over. At. There's no plan for this shit. Is it just, it's not going to work, guys. I'm sorry, man, but I just had to point this out because it's just not going to work. It's just not. It's just not. So 100, uh, 102,000 migrants cost 148 million and this is in 10 million is 13 million now Ten million is thirteen million now. That's fourteen point eight times thirteen million dollars. One hundred and ninety-two billion dollars, roughly, with inflation. So almost, uh, almost two hundred million dollars in today's currency. That was two thousand two. Like, 22 it is what it is guys look i'm gonna tell you one thing y'all about to be paying more than y'all 